you ultimately are your number one supporter on this earth okay so you've got to really support yourself and talk to yourself kindly and encourage yourself because it really does go a long way hi oh my gosh where do I even start? Oh, so many of you guys have been messaging me on Instagram and emailing me asking me, where's the keto update? Where's the keto update? And to be honest, you guys, I just needed a little bit of a mental break. I, I don't know. For some reason, when it comes to like this time of year where we're just coming into spring and I've been eating keto clean, I was really hardcore there for a while, probably up until right before the holidays where you, know, you kind of dip off a little bit. And then you try to come back, it's like, I don't know, it takes me a really long time to come back fully. And so this time of year just makes it really hard. And I don't know if it's because we have a lot of birthdays back to back. So there's a lot of like temptations back to back where we hardly have any birthdays in the summertime where we're, I'm having that temptation there. Or if it's just like, I'm just tired and I kind of get bored with the same type of videos that I'm posting every week about keto and I don't know. I just don't, I just didn't have the motivation. I kept trying to start and then I would, mess up and forget it and I trash the whole week. Um, so that's really what I've been doing for the last, I'd say month. It, it's been like that since my birthday, really. And so it's been um, really hard. Like I'll have a good week and then mm, one day I'll mess up and I'll just be like, oh, forget the whole week, I don't wanna post it. So, but you know, I, I decided that I, if I wanna start back, I'm still trying to lose these last 12 pounds. I honestly don't know how much I weigh. I haven't weighed myself in about five weeks. And I'm, I'm, I don't wanna weigh myself because I don't wanna trigger myself into to like just giving up the whole thing, you know? But it's the hardest thing to just start back. It is so hard to, to start back and have that same momentum and that same willpower and that same energy that you had in the beginning when you when you fall off at least fall off like the way I did you know so with that being said okay this week I attempted to come back um, and I almost trashed this whole week's video too but you know it's like I, I have to be honest with you guys you know I can't just have you be a part of the journey when I'm losing weight left and right non-stop you know I, I want to share my struggles too in case any of you guys are, are struggling as well know that you're not alone and we're going to accomplish our goals together you know at the end of the day I want to just hit this goal <laughs> I want to hit this goal so bad it takes a lot of mental energy to think about every single thing you eat what you're eating, how much of it you're eating, you know, monitoring your carb intake, it takes a lot of energy. Um, but I'm willing to do that so that I can hit my goal, you know, cause we're coming up on a year, it'll be a year in June, okay? I mean, it is March, but still, it'll be a year in June. So I'm just ready to just really amplify this and kickstart this. Now, I want to oh, like, caution you before you watch my video i did slip up and i shared my slip ups i, I was honest with you about my slip ups in here um, but i still did make some great meals in between there so go ahead watch what i ate and then we'll chat afterwards to see what we're going to do going forward hello friends happy monday so glad to be back this is my first keto meal back it's 10 37 i'm ready to rock this week i have two large strawberries two eggs well really an egg and a half and two pieces of bacon i am enjoying every bit of this coffee this morning this is mostly unsweetened coconut milk and not vanilla coconut milk because i didn't they didn't have any i just have regular unsweetened coconut milk a little dash of heavy whipping cream and a few drops of liquid stevia again it's 11 17. okay y'all i have some leftover grilled chicken wings and i made myself a nice salad this is mixed greens with half of a tomato some gorgonzola gorgonzola crumble cheese and blue cheese on top and again i have my wings this is my last meal of the day it's 5 34. Frame rising um so yesterday just didn't go as planned and do you ever like when you're trying to restart keto it, you could be like half of the day in and you'll be like since things didn't go as planned you're like you know what i might as well just eat this bag of chips and start over tomorrow that temptation is real and that happened to me several times yesterday because I got to the point where I was getting too hungry because I had some errands to run. And I kept saying, Gia, how many times are you gonna start over? Come on, let's not start over, just stay focused, just stay focused. It's just, you know, it's hard. So if you're struggling with that right now, I see you, I feel you. You know, just try to make it so that every decision when you get ready to eat is helping you towards your goal. I'm like, is this gonna help me towards my goal? If it's not, 
I don't need to do it. So I just thought I'd share that if you're restarting your journey like me. But let me show you what I have for breakfast today. I have a piece of Sola bread. Got this from Walmart. You can get it from Walmart or Costco. It's not at all Walmart, though. Two strawberries, two blackberries, and one fried egg with a little cheese and everything bagel seasoning. Time check, it is 1021. Lunchtime, I'm hungry. So I'm gonna try my Lacanto Keto Granola. I get this from Costco. One third cup here is two net carbs. Yeah, this is pretty filling. And then I added some hemp hearts on top of this. And um, I'm gonna put some unsweetened coconut milk in there. It's like my keto cereal. Time check, it's 136. I'm trying my best not to stress eat right now. Digital learning's trying to just keep me off of keto, y'all. I wanna eat just a bag of chips right now. I just wanna eat some chips, but I'm not. I got my Lily's dark chocolate chips. I'm gonna give myself a little spoonful of peanut butter because I just ate lunch. It's only 2.35. But I'm just gonna go ahead and have this. Well, today has not been the best. To be honest with you guys, I ate a whole bunch of barbecue chips and regular chips. Had an oatmeal raisin cookie. Now, typically, if that happens, which has been happening for the last couple of weeks, I'll just scrap the whole video and not post one about keto. But you know, I, if I wanna stay true to this and I have to show you guys, I'm always on here showing you guys the, the great, I gotta be able to show you the bad and ugly too. And that's just ugly. And I have to just, you know, not just throw the whole week away. It's just one thing I'm going to continue on. And just when I thought the whole day was gonna be thrown to trash, I receive my Green Chef box. I'm so excited. It reignited it and gave me some sort of excitement again. So Green Chef is the perfect way to kickstart because at least it's giving you your meals. It's something different. It's typically something that I've never cooked before. So I get really excited to try uh, these different meals. And Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company and they have m multiple dishes and meals for a variety of lifestyles, including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. So definitely check it out even if you're not keto, because they have some, usually have something for you. It's super easy and convenient, and the meals are really healthy, and you feel like you're, it's nothing processed, like you're cooking everything, and they give you the exact recipe and the exact ingredients that you need, which makes it super, super easy, and there's no, like you don't have any questions when it comes to cooking these meals. And it's essentially like doing the meal planning for you. You have your meals planned for you. All the ingredients come pre-measured and perfectly portioned, and mostly almost prepared. And all of the dishes are delicious. They're so good. They're super flavorful and they fit whatever lifestyle you are currently in, whatever um, eating lifestyle you're currently in. So the link is in the description box, but you can go to greenchef.us slash 90GIA and use the code 90GIA to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. Again, the link's in the description box. All right, y'all, does it look good? Ooh, the butternut squash is really good too, by the way. And that little sauce on there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I cannot wait to eat. Time check. It is 7.55. It's so late. Happy, what is today? Wednesday? Sorry, friends. I forgot to show you what I ate for breakfast. I was kind of sluggish this morning, but I had one fried egg and one keto waffle. The frozen waffles that I get from Walmart or um, Target. And so now I'm going to get ready to drink my coffee. I just feel much better today. Like I'm ready to stay focused and make sure I eat when I'm hungry and I need to make sure I'm drinking enough water because yesterday I don't think I did. All right, so and the girls had lunch and so now I'm making my husband and I lunch. It's just some tuna with some red onion, Duke mayonnaise, relish, and a little bit of mustard. So I'm gonna put my husband's on this mission wrap and mine on this carb balance spinach wrap. These are so good, y'all. You're gonna really like these. So if you see them at your store, I get them at Kroger. I think they sell them at Walmart too, but if you see them, definitely pick them up and try them because they're really good. Here's mine. The, the tortilla wraps are really small, the spinach ones, compared to especially my husband's wrap, which is this one, it's so huge. But anyway, this is mine. Time check, it is 2.58. Good morning, friends. I woke up pretty hungry this morning. I did not eat anything after my tuna wrap because I was really full, like I just wasn't hungry. And then I just don't like to eat late. It gives me really bad indigestion if I if I eat late. I mean, I did start getting hungry at around eight, nine, but I just drank water. Actually, what I had before I went to bed at like 10, I had some ginger tea. Lately, I've been just chopping up ginger that you buy from the store, putting some water in here and boiling it and letting it seep for a while. And it 
turns out really strong and then I added a few slices of lemon to it no honey or sugar sugar or, or sweetener or anything like that and I've really been enjoying that at night this morning I woke up pretty hungry <laughs> It's 9.25, I'm making my family and I breakfast and I will show you what I'm going to eat. All right, y'all. I got eggs, everybody else is fed. I got eggs, I got my Sola bread and my bacon. If you don't know what the Sola bread looks like, it looks like this. You can get it at some Walmarts and at Costco. They have the sweet oat at Walmart and then they have the, I think the wheat at Costco. Anyway, this is three net carbs, it's really good. I find that this is the only bread that does not kick me out of ketosis. Like the Aldi zero net carb bread kicks me out of ketosis, but this one I find is, is fine for me. So I'm gonna eat, I'm like really hungry. It's 9.44, coffee time. I'm looking forward to this. I'm gonna sip this slowly and enjoy every sip. Can I check? It is 10.35. All right, y'all, had a really busy day today and at this point I am hungry. It's 5.22, I'm gonna get ready to start dinner tonight. I think I'm gonna do a combination of both of these. That's the great thing about Green Chef. You can either cook it exactly how they have it on here because they have a very, very nice detailed instructions here or you can kind of just do your own thing. You have the ingredients list here and you can do whatever it is that you wanna do. So I think I'm gonna cook the sausage and the patties. Definitely gonna make this Brussels sprout side here. It looks delicious. And then have zucchini as a side and I'll probably make some rice for my kids because they love rice and we'll just put it all together. Look at the way I am spiralizing my noodles all fancy today. So I have my patties going and the sausage which is for all four of us here. And I got my zucchini noodles. I'm gonna throw my zucchini noodles right in this pan with all the seasoning in here. I got my Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna make rice for my kids and my husband and pretty much this is what we're gonna eat. I mean, how delicious do these noodles look? They're thick, so it can keep like a little crunch to them. I added a little bit more EVOO and pepper and garlic. The salt I'll end at, at like right before I take them out because the salt just draws out all that moisture, makes them soggy. But dinner's looking good, y'all. Okay, this is me and Hubby's plate. We have our Brussels sprouts, the zucchini noodles, and then the turkey patties. The turkey patties actually have the feta cheese inside it, and then I had a little bit of feta cheese left, so I put that on top. And these fire roasted peppers on top. All this came from the Green Chef box, too, by the way. And then I have my sauteed zucchini, and then the Brussels sprouts. I added salt, pepper, garlic, and then I added a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and then baked them in the oven at 350 for like 15 minutes. Obviously I cut them in half. And then I added some feta cheese in with the Brussels sprouts. So I'm really excited to eat this. My girls are gonna have the leftover zucchini noodles, rice, and then the sausage patties. And I, they like to dip these in like either ketchup or barbecue sauce or whatever, but um, this is what they're gonna eat. So dinner is served. Grand Rising friends, happy Friday. It is 11.43, I'm getting ready to eat breakfast. I feel really good today, y'all. Um, I think it's because, well, first of all, my cycle ended. And always right after my cycle, I have this burst of energy like, I want to get everything done. I, it's actually when I lose the most weight too. So I don't know, I'm feeling really pumped and re-energized. Um, I went walking this morning, the sun is back out, so it's just making me feel really good. So today for breakfast, I have two scrambled eggs, some Jimmy Dean's maple sausage, and a keto waffle. This is a keto syrup that I use. I love, love, love this keto syrup. It is so good. No aftertaste at all. The keto waffles, I get them from either Target or Walmart. They're cheaper at Walmart. They're not going to be in the regular freezer section with the regular um, waffles, you have to go to the freezer section where they have like the vegan foods. It's literally called keto waffle. Sorry, the sprinkles are out because my girls had sprinkle pancakes for breakfast today. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this meal and then I'll have my coffee. 12, 18 and it is coffee time. Mix this up here, boom, boom, boom. Yummy. I'm getting hungry y'all, it's three o'clock. Three, 11. I have my keto cereal here. A keto granola and some hemp hearts and unsweetened coconut milk. Dinner tonight, y'all. I got a baby wedge salad with blue cheese and bacon. And I got some lemon pepper wings. Time check, it is 6.07. Super busy Saturday in the morning. My husband made the girls breakfast. I'm doing Zara's hair that has to be done in like an hour and a half, so I'm rushing. There's one piece of bacon left, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this now and then I'll eat something more later. Right now it's 10 after 10. Hi guys, so I can't even remember the last time I filmed, but right now it's Sunday evening. And yesterday ended up being a total bust, y'all. 
it was just such a busy day and because I wasn't prepared, we ended up ordering Outback and I had a um, sweet potato with lots of sugar on it and I had a bloomin' onion. Yep, ate some of that and some fried mushrooms, all of that, I ate it. So again, I have to show you guys the good, bad, and the ugly. And I think what happened was I just wasn't prepared. I just have a lot going on. And it's hard for me to give the mental energy that I need to focus on everything that I eat, you know, um, I put in my mouth. And honestly, you guys, I just need to change the format, I think, of how I'm filming this to get me excited again, if you know what I mean. It's almost like, and this happened to me before, it's always this time of year that it's so hard for me. It is hard to just keep on it. Like I just don't have that same willpower that I had like over the summertime. I don't know, it's something about this time of year in March. Really, it's been several weeks, probably all year, all of 2021, if I'm gonna be 100 with you guys. It's hard. After the holidays, you know, we have several birthdays right after the holidays and it just, it makes it really, really hard to just say no a lot, of, a lot of the times. So it is what it is. I'm being honest with you guys. So here's my plan, okay? I need to go back to like how it was in the beginning when I first started where I was eating, like I was doing my meal plan and I know exactly what to eat. I'm tracking my carbs. I'm going back to that next week. And I actually just finished uh, doing a meal plan, making a meal plan right now for myself because I, I can't just free willy it right now because I just don't have the mental space to do that. I'm going to share with you guys what my meal plan is and I think going forward I'm going to start meal prepping and posting my meal plan and then I'll show you guys what I end up eating from my meal plan because a lot of the times I won't eat it in order but I'll still eat it at some point during the week. So I'm going to share with you guys what my meal plan is. Follow along with me you guys. I need some accountability right now. I really do and if any of you guys are struggling right now trust me you're not the only one. We can get through this together. It is literally the first day of spring, the second day of spring, excuse me, and I just wanna feel good. I wanna have that energy that I need to get through the summertime. There's lots going on right now um, with what we're trying to do around our house and the girls are getting ready for spring break and end of the year testing and I, I just need that energy. I really, really do. So I'm gonna share with you what my meal plan is and then hopefully next week you guys can start, start this along with me and just we hold each other accountable. We need to do some sort of challenge to just kickstart it. So if you have any ideas of what the name of the challenge should be, leave it down below. Follow me on Instagram, tag me on anything you make, DM me because girl, I need this accountability. I really, really do. The one good thing is I have been walking in the morning, which is nice um, when the weather permits and it helps me to like clear my mind and I have that like quiet time to myself. That's been really helpful, but yeah, it's rough. So let me share with you what my meal plan is for next week. All right, so here's my meal plan I just created really quickly. I need ideas for breakfast. I need to prep my lunches because I just need to do that. I need to have something right there in my fridge ready for me to eat when I get weak or if if I don't have time to, to cook a whole meal, I need it already prepped in my fridge. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And that's what next week's keto video will be probably, is me prepping my meal plan. I have some chia puddings on here. Of course, egg, eggs, bacon and keto toast, keto waffles. So you guys can just freeze, uh, pause the uh, video here too if you need some ideas. For lunch, curry chicken salad, um, tuna, mixed salad, like mixed greens. And then I think next week I'm gonna have a pot roast and greens. I will we'll be able to eat that for two days. One pan chicken and veggies, which is really simple. Grilled barbecue chicken, It's the weather's getting nice so it's easy to throw things on the grill. Homemade pizzas and keto nachos. That is my meal plan for next week. So that's what I ate you guys. And honestly, at the end of last week, I you know sat down, I made my meal plan. I will post it here in case you guys wanna follow it with me. Go to the grocery store, get what you need. You can modify it. I didn't put it in any order like Sunday I'm gonna eat this, Monday I'm gonna eat this, Tuesday I'm gonna eat this because I pick and choose and sometimes our, our schedule changes or sometimes something will pop up and maybe I won't have as much time as I thought so I'd like to just have a variety of different things, different options I can pick from. So that's what my, my goal is. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like, going forward, 
the formatting of our my keto updates will be where I share the meal plan, I'll share the meals that I actually cooked and ate according to my meal plan, and then I'll share my progress pics, which isn't much different, but at least, I don't know, the format is different to me, so it gets me excited. I don't, as a content creator, I just have to stay excited about the content that I'm creating, and I don't know if I'm not excited about my keto updates because I've been doing so bad. But you know, I'm really pushing my myself to share because again, it's not all peaches and cream. And so you, you need to see that side too in case, like I said, anybody else is struggling with that. But that is my goal. I haven't weighed myself. I have not put on my bathing suit, my bikini, cause like again, I don't wanna just spiral down this negative hole uh, with negative self-talk. I'm not one to really talk negatively to myself, but I, do, I will find myself getting hard on myself and not, I don't know, speaking kindly to myself. So it's like, I wanna make sure that I'm speaking positively to myself, that I'm encouraging myself. That's so important, you guys. Don't talk badly to yourself. Don't talk badly about your appearance to yourself in the mirror. Don't talk badly about yourself, period. In front of your children, in front of other people. You know, you ultimately are your number one supporter on this earth, okay? So you've gotta really support yourself and talk to yourself kindly and encourage yourself because it really does go a long way. That's what I've been doing lately is just encouraging myself and ready to just get back on that same energy length, wavelength that I was on in the beginning so that I can hit these goals, you know? So going forward, I have to have a meal plan every week because that's the only way I'm gonna survive, I feel like. I can't wing it anymore, so meal plan. I'll be sharing my grocery hauls. I'll be sharing the foods, the meals that I cook, and then I'll, you know, my progress picks, how much weight I'm losing. So next week, Hopefully I'll be able to get on the scale and tell you, I'll have enough courage to get on the scale and tell you where I'm at um, to see what my new goal is, you know? So that is it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know, how have you been doing? Hopefully you've been doing better than I have been doing, but if you haven't been doing as good, let this be a kickstart for our, our new beginning, our new journey, what we're gonna do to get back on it. You know, you have to make sure that we're cooking foods that are exciting us, you know? And I think that's, I kind of felt stagnant. Like, I'm not really excited about anything, anything that I'm eating and stuff. And, and I think that plays a big major role in it. You have to be excited about something that you're eating. So I'm, I've been like looking up different recipes, trying to um, try different things. And I know it takes a lot of time and time is really short right now, especially this time of year. The weather's nice, like we're spending more time outside and you know, I don't have as much time to cook and stuff like that, but I am pushing myself and encouraging myself to try different recipes so that I can get excited about it. And also my husband is doing it with me now. So he started doing it with me because he wants to lose a little bit of weight. Quarantining and trying to maintain or lose weight girl is no joke, it's no joke. <laughs> so uh, he wants to lose some weight with me. So he's doing it with me. So I'm excited about that. So anyway, leave a comment down below and let me know where are you at? Okay, what do you wanna do to, to, to kickstart your journey again? And what can I do to help you? I'm definitely gonna be sharing the highs and the lows, girl. You know, I'm here for that. Um, we just have to stay encouraging each other. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.